rendering that you just watched was taken with a Smartson pen, the Smart Pen. So I'm just going to kind of describe the product here, show it real quick what it's like to connect it to my phone, and then I'm going to give you a demonstration of how that rendering was made. So you see here that the pen comes with a receiver, the pen, and this cool dual charge cord that will charge both components at once. So the receiver is a Bluetooth connected smart receiver that will connect to your cell phone. So currently the app is an APK so it will not work with uh, iOS, it will only work with Android phones. This receiver can work with any paper, so it will read off anything that you write on. The receiver has this little camera thing right here, and it works by essentially clipping to the edge of your paper, your notebook, and then picking up the signal of the pen. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to my phone here. This is a Galaxy Note 4, and I have pre-downloaded the app. I'm going to my apps here, and you see it's the Smartson pen app right here, and you see it opening. So you can see I turned it on and it pretty much auto-connected to the receiver here. And there are a number of different features on the app, including the ability to change colors. There's just a few colors, including white, red, green, blue, and yellow. You can also change the thickness of your pen just a little bit. You can also change the type of your pen, which kind of changes the pen a little bit, but not that much. You can erase. You can add shapes, you can add images, so if you do have some, you know, pre-notes or pre-worksheets given to you by a teacher, you can put the image um, in the background and then you can write on it that way. You can um, cut to copy a screenshot of your image and then you can also erase the entire backboard. So you press record to begin recording your video and the pin does pick up sound which allows you to use it in a lecture setting, which is really cool. You can then go through your screenshots and your videos, and you can change the frame rate of your video as well. So I have my setup here, and I'm gonna kinda of show you how I did that opening. So you wanna put the sensor in portrait mode even if your image is landscape. I haven't really found a way to go into landscape mode on the app itself, so I do everything in portrait, and then I flip the video in the video editor itself. So since the sensor doesn't pick up any printed images on the paper, I went ahead and designed this in Illustrator and printed it out so I could just trace it because I'm not a good freehander. If you are a good freehander, this is a really cool tool for you. So you go ahead and press record on the app itself and you just trace. <laughs> 